Hey guys, it's Andy here, and I just wanted to do a quick video on all of the crystal cells I've built to date. Um, instead of just measuring them, going through all that nonsense, I just want to show you the paperwork for it, and I'll explain to you why. So, the first one on our far left is the aluminum core copper case um, with the laser saber uh, crystal composition. You can see the uh, values there. Then the next one is Dead Sea Epsom Salts. Next one up is the Magnesium Core Copper Case. You can see its values. And it's using Laser Saber's uh, concoction. Uh, let me move these out of the way. Next is a half inch diameter crystal cell, as you can see, and its uh, dimensions. And this is my 6 inch length crystal cell. And you can see it's uh, approximate values. So I want to explain to you why none of this actually matters. So let me just line these guys up. So these aluminum core ones are completely useless. Uh, building them was purely uh, proof of concept while I was waiting for the magnesium cores to arrive. So these ones don't even put out anything worth value. Next up, this guy has a lot of potential. 3 quarter inch diameter, 1 quarter inch diameter magnesium core. So the reason why this one is of value is because I'm able to power this jewel ringer circuit. Um, right here with this guy but for not for very long so I can actually use this for something of value and I can also run a small motor um, I'll show you it I pulled this out of a controller so this can run yeah, let me just show you um, this thing has a huge weight on it too and it'll you can see it. there we go so you can see this crystal cell does in fact work, and not for very long, but it's running this very crappy motor, so I'm pleased with that. Now, this guy here, half inch diameter pipe with the exact same core. This one is barely putting out any milliamps. Uh, it's useless, basically. So do not go this small if you're going to build a crystal cell. It's, you're not going to get anything of value using, um, at least using laser sabers, uh, crystal composition. Now, this guy here has very, very good milliamp hour output in comparison to this one. But all three of these have the exact same voltage output. The, and they have varying lengths. Um... But with this one, it should be putting out far more with, uh, you know, a difference of one and a half inch length versus six inch length. You do the math and you think you can fire better current output, but you're not. You're getting almost the exact same current output. It's just capacitance that is different. Now, you can see, hey, they have the exact same magnesium cores. So that's why I strongly believe that current output is directly uh, the cause of the magnesium core for a result of. So I've got this guy. I'm going to glue it together. and uh, I don't know if I should keep the copper wrapped around it. I think I'll just glue it and hope it works. So... I've got this guy, um, just three cores, and I'm going to pack this one down and see how it works. Uh, if it outputs um, a lot more milliamps, then we'll know for sure. So that's my next uh, step, is to build one of these while I wait for my uh, three-quarter inch diameter magnesium cores to come in, and then I can use half-inch diameter copper pipe.
I built this um, jewel thief circuit. You can see I'm running two LED lights off of this um, cell here. Uh, this cell normally runs at 1.4 volts and a maximum of 41 milliamps, maybe 50 milliamps at its very start. Uh, currently it is running at uh, 800 millivolts and 16 milliamps. I've been running this uh, Jewel Thief circuit for over 9 hours now, about, and uh, it's still running. You can see the red one, um, pretty good. The uh, white one is not very strong as it requires higher voltage, but it's still running. Uh, it's barely running though, you can, can't even tell that it's running in even dim lighting. But the fact is it's been running for 9 hours off of uh, this crystal cell. Now, I have my uh, smaller crystal cell here that I built last night, and I'm going to hook that up and try it out. So you can see that running. So, just a proof of concept, how these things work. So, as I said in uh, future videos, I will not be showing these three because they uh, do not put out anything of value. We will only be focusing on these two from now on in future videos. Anyways, hope you uh, like this video, hope it gives you a better understanding of crystal cells, and if you're planning on building your own, uh, this and larger diameter magnesium cores, uh, they put out something of value in this design, otherwise it's not worth it. So, anyways, hope you uh, like the video, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff, as I will be putting out more videos in the future. Uh, specifically about crystal cells only. Alright, have a good day. Bye.